UFC Heavyweight Showdown. for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, Ladies we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Checks the leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands do not want to appear to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. can 
finish. Misses with the right hand. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Huge block there. Big kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to ring. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, oh, oh. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. seconds to go in round one. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Second round, straight ahead. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen, you probably lost that round. I need you to be first. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC, and certainly you gotta think some body kicks are gonna find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing them with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is gonna end Ready? very soon. Ready? All right, round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Head kick looked like that one was blocked. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been like that. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to his feet, good side door in there. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. The ground and pound has been there all night. Back mount now. One minute to go. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Oh, 
Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Final seconds here of round number two. Round three next. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Right there, oh, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, nice. Oh. his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight.